All right, so hello everybody, welcome back to another video where we're gonna keep building our job finder. So what I'm gonna build now, actually before I even start, uh, Merry Christmas to all of you around the globe. Um, the time I'm recording this video is Christmas in the US, so Merry Christmas to all of you. All right, so what I'm gonna do today is gonna implement the apply feature. So recall that, uh, actually here's what I'm gonna do. So I create, I register a new account, that's which is uh, instead of a employer, it's actually like a job finder. I mean a job seeker and then in here Here's like the job, right? Um, and then in here gonna implement this apply feature All right gonna implement the supply feature somehow um, All right, let's continue So to apply feature one thing we need to do is implement resume, right? Uh, we're going to keep it simple, so we're just going to add the ability to add resumes, okay, to add resumes, um, which in here I'm just going to say Django Job Finder. So I'm going to create S3 bucket. I'm going to link these in the description down below, but we're going to go ahead and create a bucket. All right, looks like nobody had used it before, Django Job Finder. Let's click on that. All right, so now what are gonna happen is once you create a new bucket, what I would like you guys to do is go ahead and click on this IAM feature. All right, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna create an IAM user. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and create an IAM user. Uh, and here you can just click on user, you click on add user and then you can type your username for example Django job finder uh, click on programmatic access now during the permission to part we're gonna say attach existing policies directly and we're gonna select s3 full access and then here you can click on review and you can click on create user since I already set up a user so I don't I'm not gonna go ahead and create one all right but that's all you need to do with the S3. All right, so we can use this for as our content delivery network. All right, next what's gonna happen is let's just go ahead and get started on implemented. I implement our apply the job feature. All right, okay. So what's gonna happen is this. Let's go ahead and go to this job. Right. Okay, and then here gonna say something called dev apply job. All right, reply job. And let's see, how can we deal with it? So the job also gonna take in the code. Actually, you know what? Yeah, in here I'm gonna create a brand new wrap. It's gonna be post. Let's say return render. requests and maybe apply.html all right let me close out these unnecessary route uh, for now and in here let's go associate this apply Here you're gonna say apply html. Let's go ahead and copy it. Alright, so in here you're gonna say I don't know, maybe something like apply to and then here you're actually gonna go ahead and get the job. 
So what I would think is、uh, what we could improve on is maybe the ability to customize. Like when we create a job, maybe we can customize that a little bit better. But for now, that's all the simple skeleton we need.、Um, and in here, okay, yeah.、Mm, let's just pass this job with it. All right. So job dot title. Slash job slash apply. Don't have that. Oops. Yeah. I always forgot to add this. All right. Let's go ahead and refresh our page. All right. Apply to movie editor. And in here we will say from job. We need to also get the company's name. Sorry if you keep hearing the keyboard sound. The reason you hear keyboard sound is because I'm using my computer's built-in mic, so that's why I captured it. But、uh, we'll see when can I buy like a actual mic, so you guys don't have to hear that sound no more. All right. Okay. So in here, what we're gonna say is, let's go ahead and create a form for it. CSRF token. Okay, so in here we're gonna say classes. And in here we're gonna say name equals to actually we're just gonna say profile equals to profile dot objects dot get user ID equals to request dot user dot ID. We also need the applied. So like the person who's currently applying URL. All right, and then. Profile dot name. Okay, and in here we say disable. So I cannot edit that. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and copy it here. The reason I didn't get the name attribute because that's not really where we're gonna submit. Okay, that's not really where we're going to submit. The reason is、um, the reason is that in case some user after change is disabled, so they change their name, it's not going to do anything. Not really going to send back because on the post side of processing, we still are going to use a profile. So there's no way user can quote unquote change their name into their email, despite we don't want them to. Okay. All right. Speaking of, next up is our email. This is gonna be much more easier. Username. All right. Let's go add a br. All right. Name. Email. All right.、Uh, next, what we're gonna got is a resume. So resume. I don't know how to speak this word. I think it's after not. I don't think it's in English actually, because they actually have accent marks stuff as such. And in here, we're gonna say input type equals to file. And、uh, let's say name equals to file. So in here we're also gonna say int type. So it's multi-purpose form data. So the so it actually can be submitted.
Alright, and finally we're gonna say is cover letter, which is optional. Required. For now, hard to code these values, but maybe uh, later we can let the employer to actually customize everything. So here I can say texts, text area maybe. How would that look? Okay, I hope it's not 100 this time. Maybe 10. Yep, well, good enough. Yep, we can type cover letter here. Uh, let's give it a Name is called this cover. All right, so what I'm gonna do then is I'm just gonna find a resume template PDF. All right, here's what I'm gonna do uh, because I don't have a PDF file available since I literally forget about it. So I'm just going to save this image here. And what I will do is I will do a cloud convert, convert this to PDF. Because I only want some PDF files here. Except, I don't know how that works to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna think about sets a little bit later. You know what? Actually, would it actually work? Yeah, it didn't do much. All right, let's convert to PDF. It's gonna just convert. And once I convert to PDF, I'm gonna download the PDF. Sorry, I should maybe prepare it a little bit better, but I didn't, that's my bad there. Okay, let's download here. Go upload. All right. Okay, um, let's see, anything else in particular that's wrong? No, all right. Let's just say submit. 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 Alright. Alright. Okay, so now what's going to happen is we're going to think about how can we upload to S3. Alright, how can we upload to S3? So, uh, what we will do in here is we're going to also create another model under this draw, which we're going to say application. User ID, so uh, actually I would name it a little bit better, applicant ID. <sighs> Models the integer field. Job ID. Resume URL. And in here, you're gonna say models of char field. I will show how that works in a little bit. Um, what else? Uh, so max length. 
Okay. I don't think there's particularly anything else. Oh, cover letter. The text field. Cool. All right. Let's go ahead and make the migration up. And let's go and migrate to our database. Okay. All right. So now let's see how can we work. How can we do this upload? Let's. I don't know why do I need this first time. All right. So in here, what we're going to do is we're going to say applicant ID equals to request a user ID. All right. Um, job ID. I, you don't have to do this. You can just but make variables. Just make a little bit clearer. Um, we're going to say. ID resume okay resume is the interesting part so in here I'm gonna actually create uh, in helper function oh nice I have a register already okay in here we're gonna say this I'm gonna say first in your terminal I would like you to type pip install bottle 3 so this is a way that we can programmatically uh, access s3 Okay, it's a package developed by Amazon AWS, so you can use it. All right, so in here, gonna say create a function called upload s3, and in here we can we're gonna say request. Actually, we're going to take in an HTTP request, and in here we're going to say, actually, before you even do that, uh, in here, also any function, you just want to say S3 equals to, um, actually, we we'll use the import bottle 3 first. Sorry about that. Import bottle 3, and here we're going to say bottle 3 dot uh, resource, which you're going to specify S3, and AWX access. Key ID, and here we're gonna say import OS as well. And here we're gonna say it's equals to us dot get in uh, s three access key ID. If you don't know what environment variable is, don't worry. It's pretty simple. It's just a way to um, store it in the quote unquote environment, which uh, so you don't have to like make your credential, type your credential on the screen. Uh, and then to use environment variable in the terminal, you're gonna type exports, and then is your envir environment variable name equals to a value. The value is not with the value is not within any quotation mark as such. All right, so it's just like export. For example, is x uh, s three access key id, and it's equals to aws. Maybe something, something, something. Okay. All right, and in here we're gonna say AWS secret access key equals to OS dot get in equals to S three secret access key ID. All right, once you get that set up, you upload S3, which we're just gonna say, um, S3.bucket. And in here, you're gonna put your bucket name, the bucket name, which if I recall is jingle-jobfinder. All right. And in here, you're gonna say dot put objects. Which the key is gonna be this. The key 
is going to be random. We're going to create a variable called name, and here we're going to say random star. And we're going to say 10. All right. And then here we're going to say name. And then we want to say this. We're going to import another library called passlib. This is a way to get the file extension. Actually, let's see if it's necessary. You know what? All we'll be uploading for now is just PDF, so we're not going to worry about that really. Um, so so we don't need this F string. So in here we're going to say name. Body is just going to be request files bracket file. And in here, say return name plus dot PDF. All right, because we're gonna this name is like a key, and then we can use this key to access stuff within the S3 bucket. All right, get S3. And here, we're gonna say name object equals to S3 dot object, and in here, we're gonna specify which bucket, which is. Jingo job finder. Uh, here is like the key, right? And then here is the body is arch dot get body. And then here, you know what? We're just going to say return object dot get object dot get all right we're gonna see how it can work with it in a little bit okay um i think that's actually what i would do for now since i want to keep the video short but what i'm gonna do is gonna test out see if these s3 function works uh we're gonna see how can we display resume uh and then how do we embed the pdf documents all right gonna see how to chain these together in the next video we're gonna finish uh, for a candidate to apply their job. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question or comment, feel free to comment down below. As always, um, stay safe and have a nice day. All right, that was me, out.